All right, guys, I got my head out of the window just so I can get some light in here for an interview. I've got turkeys gobbling all around me, right in about the same spot we think they roost, which is just behind us, 150 yards. And they go right there. Um, it's just me today. I'm hunting just for the morning, going back home after this. But I figured I'd give it a try. I forgot I have a tag. And been focusing on my brother a lot on public which didn't work out but we learned a lot we had a lot of fun together we got on some birds just that never got close enough um, there they go again <laughs> and then my grandpa we were up here a couple weekends ago and we had some pretty awesome action just right here. So we got a clover field out in front of us We had a clover field out in front of us that they like to pick in a lot all throughout the day. So, and I can see a, a lot of, a lot of marks right here in the front. Definitely can hear yelping with it too. But yeah, definitely hear something yelping. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna get quiet here and let the morning get going.
I don't even know what to say. Just take this minute in for this moment and soak it in. some experience and have some fun and that's exactly what we did but I did tell him I said if I seen that bird I would shoot it and sure enough I, I don't know if it's that bird but here's a big group of jakes here's one single tom good chance it's that bird man I'm still shaking Whew. that was pretty cool I watched them all come in I didn't know there was that many of them and I think maybe he kind of got a little spooked. He started to go off, and I'm, I'm assuming they wouldn't have. They're all right out. There's a group out 40 yards away, and then another group out 80 yards away or so, maybe 70. But they're, they're doing what they do. They're in this clover plot, and they're working through it. I think especially now more than, more than usual because there's a lot of bare dirt, and there's a lot of grubs. There's all sorts of stuff fresh buds that have fallen down you name it it's just a buffet here for them but it worked out perfect and I can't complain they they all came right in not to the decoys but to the decoys the jakes definitely went right up to that jake decoy and they were clucking and purring they didn't like that but probably give it a little bit and enjoy the moment. I'll call my wife in a minute, call my grandpa. Praise God, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff without him. He's, he's my savior, he's my, my guidance, my, my comfort, my correction, everything. I won't get down there and get a look at him and get, obviously get a tag on him. It's awesome, praise God, praise God. Good All right guys, here he is. It's my first turkey with a bow. I've been working hard at that for quite some time now, on and off or so. I shot my first one with a gun when I was 13, 14 years old, and I told myself I wouldn't shoot another one unless it was with the bow. I've pretty much been working on it since then, but, and not to, not to mention to get it on camera, so, so that's just another cherry on top. But the Hoyt did its job, Rage Broadhead did its job, had the decoys. Um, I got here kind of late. They were gobbling on the roost when I got the decoys set up, and then when I got in there, they were gobbling for probably the next half an hour and I'm assuming it's gloomy they probably hung out just like those ones did on public land with my brother and I um, but they eventually got down and they were quiet for a little while and then all of a sudden I heard the hen go off and I could tell that it was louder and they were closer and with all this foliage I was looking around trying to find them and it was no more than a couple minutes I could see the tom off in the distance just strutting in there and then a couple minutes after, I seen all those jakes come right down here, and then they turned left and came right into the decoys, and he was in with them, and he kind of seemed a little sketched out, so I didn't really give him too much time, so I'm not sure about the shot on the video, um, but the arrow flew true. I've been working hard at that, trying to get better and get my nerves down, and hard, hard to believe that something like this can get you so fired up, but um, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm I'm super super pumped that I could share this guys share this uh, moment with you guys and just grateful to have an almighty creator that allows me to do stuff like this and a wife that 
supports me and, and loves to do this stuff too, just as much if not more than I do. And um, I can go on and on with this. So I hope all you other guys are having luck. And if you're not, I hope you guys do have luck. And hopefully we can get one more on the ground with my grandpa. Stay tuned guys, as always, God bless. Thanks for watching.